Hi, I'm Stephen Reichland. I'd like to tell you about my new novel, Island Apart. It's set on Chappaquiddick Island, right here on Martha's Vineyard. The characters include a New York book editor, a self-help guru, a disaffected teenager, her biker boyfriend, a mysterious hermit, and the real-life iconoclastic psychiatrist, Wilhelm Reich. It's a story of love, loss, healing, and redemption. Above all, it's a story of a woman who had to lose nearly everything before she could find true love. Many of you know me as a food writer. Island Apart is my first novel. And while I can't promise you any barbecue, I guarantee you'll read some really good food scenes. And now, I'd like to show you my Island Apart. We're at the point on Chappaquiddick, and this is the Chappaquiddick Ferry. It's a three-car barge that crosses the 527 feet from Chappaquiddick to Edgartown. And the Chappaquiddick Ferry is not only the lifeline of Chappaquiddickers to the mainland, but symbolically, it also takes you from the real world to this isolated, mystical place called Chappaquiddick. Off in the distance, you can see North Neck. The fine black cottage is where Clara spends the winter house-sitting. This is Caleb's Pond, where the hermit gathers cattails to bring to Claire in lieu of flowers. It's also where the hermit introduces Claire to the art of clamming. No rakes needed. And this is my friend Jerry Jeffers. Hey, Jerry. Hi, how are you? And Jerry, you are a long-timer on Chappaquiddick. Yeah, yeah. And am I right that you're uh, the last surviving Wampanoag here on Chappaquiddick? As far as I know. This is the infamous Dyke Bridge, where in 1969, a tragic accident took place. Senator Ted Kennedy took a wrong turn and drove off the bridge as passenger drowned. Chappaquiddick Island, it takes its name from the Wampanoag, where it's Chepit Aquididen, literally, place or island apart. <laughs> <laughs>